and in Taylor series the function fz equal to 1 over z about the point z equal to 2 and also we have to find its radius of convergence. Before moving on to the solution we need to recall few remarks over here. So let's recall the expansions for mod z strictly less than 1. Please remember the expansions are for mod z strictly less than 1. So first one is 1 minus z to the power negative 1. The expansion is 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube up to infinity. And this can be summed up as summation n going from 0 to infinity z to the power n. And then is 1 plus z to the power negative 1. The expansion is 1 minus z plus z square minus z cubed, so on up to infinity and this can be summed up as summation n going from 0 to infinity minus 1 the power n z the power n. Please remember whenever you are having the negative sign inside the bracket take all the terms to be positive and for the positive sign in the bracket take all the terms to be in alternate sign plus minus plus minus so on right. Likewise, if we expand 1 minus z the power negative 2, all the terms are positive. So this is 1 plus 2z plus 3z square plus 4z cube, so on up to infinity. And this can be summed up as summation n going from 1 to infinity n into z the power n minus 1. And then this 1 plus z the power negative 2. So the alternate signs now that is 1 minus 2z plus 3z square minus 4z cube up to so on up to infinity. So this can be written as summation n going from 1 to infinity minus 1 the power n minus 1 into n into z the power n minus 1. And then is 1 minus z the power minus 3. So this is summation n going from 0 to infinity and this is n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 2 into z the power n and for 1 plus z the power minus 3 we have summation n going from 0 to infinity minus 1 the power n and then the same n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 2 z the power n so you have to remember all this Please note over here, the series for fz around z not given by Taylor's theorem converges uniformly to the value of fz provided mod of z minus z not less than the distance from z not to the nearest point where the function is not analytic. Right? So this distance is called the radius of convergence. So radius of convergence is the distance between the points z and z0 and we have to take the absolute value for this distance right the point wherever may be in the circle we have to take the absolute value as the distance is always positive right okay let's move on to the solution now for applying taylor's theorem to the function it is not necessary that function be analytic on the boundary of the circle what is required is that fz should be analytic inside the boundary of the circle c right now here function is given to be 1 over z about the point z equal to 2 so we need the expansions in powers of z minus 2 okay so fz is given to be as 1 over z as so because i need z minus 2 so can i add and subtract 2 Yes, okay. So in the next step, let me take z minus 2 together. So this is 1 over 2 plus z minus 2, right? Because I need z minus 2. Let's take 2 common from the denominator and we get 2 into 1 plus z minus 2 divided by 2. Now why I have taken 2 common from the denominator so that I can get the format as 1 plus x right where your x is z minus 2 over 2 when you take this denominator to the numerator the power becomes 1 plus x power minus 1 
let's take this denominator to the numerator this is 1 over 2 into 1 plus z minus 2 divided by 2 the power negative 1 so to expand this what is the formula it is in the form 1 plus z the power negative 1 so the formula is summation n going from 0 to infinity minus 1 the power n into z the power n so here i am having uh, z minus 2 over 2 in place of z so the formula becomes 1 by 2 as it is and now applying the formula we get summation n going from 0 to infinity minus 1 the power n into z minus 2 over 2 the power n right so this is further equal to summation n going from 0 to infinity minus 1 the power n and here i am having 2 outside of the bracket let me take this 2 inside to the bracket so i get z minus 2 the power n and in the denominator i am having 2 the power n plus 1 now because the function is 1 over z so this function is not analytic at z equal to 0 because at z equal to 0 the function is not defined so since the function is not analytic at z equal to 0 therefore the radius of convergence is distance between the points z equal to 2 and z equal to 0 and we have to take the absolute value so this is 2 minus 0 which is 2 thus the radius of convergence is 2 thank you